Hello, members of Horace's family. It is my honor to address you all today. Unfortunately, it's under a very difficult circumstances. My country is under attack. My beautiful city, Kyiv, is under attack. Millions of lives are being ruined. Thousands are already dead. Already dead. My name is Henry Sternberg. I've been part of Horace's family for many, many years. I'm an American citizen. I am in Kyiv now. The city that used to be a beautiful city is in ruins right now. The images you see are the images that are real. They're not fake, they're real. When I was 18, my parents took me to America. They gave me an opportunity to live an American dream. Since 1996, I started coming back to Ukraine. I started investing in Ukraine. I started figuring out the way that I can help. Yes, I was motivated by profit at the time, but in 2014, it's all changed. After Crimea and Eastern Ukraine, war broke out. I went to the State Department. I shared my vision. I shared my vision for a very different Ukraine. And seven years later, we are executing their vision. Yes, it took me, us, a long time. Ukraine had many, many challenges, but before the war, can't believe I'm saying those words. Before the war, we were planning to build a first smart green city of Gostomil, the city that lies in ruins right now. The city that was supposed to be example for all other cities of Ukraine, and we will rebuild that city. With the CEO of Ukr Pochta, Post Office of Ukraine, we were building one of the largest, the best, and most mo innovative logistics park in Ukraine near airport Borispol, main airport of the country. With a group of people from America, Croatia and Ukraine, we're building bioeconomy based on a raw material that will allow Ukraine to have new industries like bioplastics, biopaper. With a group I I EIG, we were planning to build power stations based on biomass. 24 megawatt power stations across the country. That's what we're planning to do prior to this, prior to the war, before the war. And I'm committing to do it after the war. One of the most important projects we were working on, it was Business Media Network of Ukraine. We have recruited students of this country, college students who are building free websites for every municipality of this country in order to change the image of the country, in order to attract investment, strategic partners, in order to bring tourists to Ukraine. It is free, again, free websites by students of Ukraine. We're also building a free business directory to allow businesses of Ukraine to promote itself around the world for all of you to know what Ukraine is capable of. You see this now on a battlefield where Ukraine is capable of. That's the people of Ukraine who are fighting not only for their land, for their freedoms, but for freedoms of all of us. Remember, I'm an American. I'm in Kyiv right now. And we are committing. I personally commit to you that I will do everything I can, rest of my professional career, to bring prosperity to Ukraine, to bring happiness to people of Ukraine, to bring to Ukraine a dream. I lived an American dream. I want Ukrainians to live a dream. Ukraine is in crisis right now. Ukraine needs your help. Every one of us have an obligation as a human being to help now. There's many ways you can help. If you wanted to donate and you don't know the organization, contact me, I will help you out. But I only have one ask of you. That ask going to start right after the war. Yes, after the war. Remember, Putin already lost this war. You cannot win against 40 million people who are fighting for their freedom, who are fighting for their lives. You cannot win. So after the war, I ask you to become strategic partners to Ukrainian companies. I ask you to become investors into Ukrainian human capital by sharing your experience, your knowledge. That's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you to start planning that now. 
after the war will start right away. Thank you, Harassus. In October of 2018, Kyiv had an honor to host Harassus China meeting. What an event, what a team effort, what adrenaline, what a fun time we had. Many of you visited the city. Many of you fell in love with that city. I'll see you all soon in Kyiv. Peace. Slava Ukraini, Giroim Slava. Бендеровцы и неонацисты хочу дать самую высокую оценку действиям российских солдат и офицеров. Российская атака на Украину. Я считаю, что это катастрофа и преступление. Все мы тут защищаем нашу независимость. Тому слава Украине! Тримаем с разом! И, хлопцы, весело мочим русню! We will never forget the lives that have been lost under your regime. It is too late to expect us. Ladies and gentlemen, my country was attacked by Russia, nuclear authoritarian state, 22 years run by old KGB men who wants to renew Soviet empire as he remembered from his KGB building in Dresden in 1989. Our major cities in the north, south and east are partly or completely blocked. They are bombarded with cruise and ballistic missiles. On Thursday, thermobaric bomb was dropped on Akhtyrka. Almost all of my male acquaintances, like journalists, former ministers, activists, athletes, businessmen and even singers, joined the territorial defense units. I was very lucky that I was able to take my nine years old boy to the Polish border on the second day of war. The nine-year-old boy walked seven kilometers with his luggage by his foot, stood in the line for six hours and crossed along the border himself in the middle of the night. I stayed in Ukraine and I want Ukraine to stay free democratic state, not like Russia. Of course, we thank our partners for decisive sanctions for anti-tank weapon, for stinger and for aircrafts. But I ask you to convince the leadership of NATO and EU to help close the sky over Ukraine. Just give us a necessary amount of missile defense and air defense, like Patriot or Tat, which will allow us to shoot down Russian cruise and ballistic missiles. Protect our children, our cities and our people. I also welcome Canada's decision to impose an embargo of Russian oil as a form of sanctions. I urge other countries to follow Canada's decision. Remember that if Ukraine will fall, Putin will not stop and go further. He directly declared his claim in the whole, for the whole of Eastern Europe in his ultimatum in the end of the last year. By protecting Ukraine, you're protecting Europe, protecting yourself. Remember that. Thank you for your attention. Dear friends from Ukrainian diaspora and international business community, I am Sergei Tsivkoc, head of Ukraine Invest, Governments of Ukraine Investment Attraction and Support Office. But we cannot conduct our daily activities right now because Ukraine is under attack. Military aggression of Russia is taking place right now. Our women, kids, elderly are dying as well as men that are protecting our country. Ukraine is protecting ourselves and also protecting the whole world. We protect democratic values. But we need your support. We need your support right now. There is no time for negotiations, for long talks, 
creating of platforms that will take days or weeks. We need your support right now. We need funds for humanitarian reasons. And also we need your support to talk to your politicians. Make them stop Russia. Make them support Ukraine. If you are ready to support Ukraine, get in touch with us. We will facilitate transfer of funds to authorized governmental sources. Please do not watch. Act now. Slava Ukraini! On February 24, 2022, the territorial integrity of Ukraine was evaluated by the troops of the Russian Federation as a result of direct military invasion, including from the territory of the Republic of Belarus. In today's civilized world, it's difficult to imagine what could happen when a neighboring state seeking to achieve its incomprehensible ambition plans attacks another country, using both heavy weapons and information resources in the fight against civilians, because it's the most vulnerable in this war. At this difficult time, the State Customs Service of Ukraine, consolidating its efforts to organize and hinder custom clearance of humanitarian aid and military assistance from our partners and concerned countries. The world, outraged by Russian's actions, is providing necessary assistance to Ukraine in the fight against the aggressor. We are deeply appreciate how the world reacts and supports Ukraine. At the same time, we call on to react more harshly to the events that are taking place, because today Ukraine is under hail of rockets and bullets, and tomorrow another country may find itself in the same situation, because there is a real precedent. We want the example of Ukraine and the reaction of the world to this situation to finally repeat such actions, so the potential aggressor countries understand what the world can do with them. The State Customs Service of Ukraine has already appealed to the World Customs Organization to deprive the Russian Federation and the Republic of Belarus of the opportunity to participate in WCO programs. Ukraine calls on Russia to support its appeal to exclude Russian and Belarus from the civilized world. Forming a close knit community, we will prevent similar military aggression in future. Glory to Ukraine!